no, 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 No! No! It's me, Mario, with the game. You probably know my name, so we start. <sighs> Hi. Alright, guys, so you're probably wondering why I just went crazy in the beginning. <sighs> you guys probably won't understand. I mean, yeah, I know you guys will, but I. Have you ever. Have you guys ever felt where. When you lose something or someone, you just don't really, you feel like really upset and you just don't, like people just try to tell you it's no big deal, but they don't just really don't understand the best of the love of that thing you lost or something. Well, that's what I'm kind of feeling right now. So, I was just online and I saw like what one or two videos or at least some uh, articles and I just found out the saddest news ever. Chuck E. Cheese's the world's most number one place to go to for birthdays and the best arcade like has so many games, rides and fun and tickets and prizes and stuff. Well they might be closing and that's why I had the, and I know you guys are probably like, that's it? That's why you're upset? Well, well, yeah, of course, because I love Chuck E. Cheese's. And if you guys don't believe me, watch this. You see these? These are Chuck E. Cheese plushes that I got at Chuck E. Cheese's from the prizes. And I had them for years. And I loved playing with them. And especially these two superhero Chucky plushes. But now... I just, like... like Chuck E. Cheese, they, there's not, like, full evidence of Chuck, the whole Chuck, all the Chuck E. Cheese stores closing. But there is, there is some people saying that, possibil that there are possibilities that Chuck E. Cheese is my clothes. And that just made me so sad and depressed because I am a huge Chuck E. Cheese fan. And I actually had a Chuck E. Cheese shirt today. Well, I had actually had a Chuck E. Cheese shirt, but I kind of lost it. I don't know where I put it. But it is somewhere in this house, but I'm not sure where I put it. I mean, it's probably lost or something. I don't know. But that's not the point. So I was originally going to upload a different, like a different kind of video today, but... After finding out the news of Chuck E. Cheese's getting bankrupt and might be closing later on, I decided to just reschedule that video for tomorrow and make the this Chuck E. Cheese video today, or at least tomorrow when it gets uploaded. But yeah, I'm just super sad. Like I've been to Chuck E. Cheese's for years. That was like the best place to go to, but the, unfortunately, all the Chuck E. Cheese stores have closed and. We pretty much know why because of the whole COVID-19 pandemic. And it's just... I really don't know how to... I, I really don't, like... I'm so emotional right now. And if you don't believe me, well, I'm about to tell you guys some evidence of how Chuck E. Cheese's might be closing. So, whenever you hear the word or say Chuck E. Cheese's, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is the games... The tickets, the, the prizes, the mascot, the animatronics and stuff. Chuck E. Cheese is, is like m like the most memorable place in the whole world. Like I love Chuck E. Cheese since I was born. When I was when I was turning four four years old or like three, I assume. I I had my birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese's and I was very little. I was so little. I, it was very old that they that they still had that old Chuck E. Cheese mascot, the the Chuck E. Cheese design. Hang on, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Do you guys remember this Chuck E. Cheese design? 
before they changed it to this model of him, the Rockstar one. I personally like this model of him more than the new one. Yeah, so there have been many rumors of the Chuck E. Cheese's store getting filed for bankrupt because of the whole pandemic of how the stores were closing and they were just running out of money. And yeah, that's pretty. That's actually one of the reasons why the Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese's is starting to close. And Chuck E. Cheese's was just a center of fun for the whole family to enjoy. The parents can relax while the, while the kids play. And whenever you come into the store, they would always stamp, put like the, put like a stamp on your, on like your arm and stuff. And they would just like put a number there so you, they could make sure that you're inside the Chuck E. Cheese's store. And they do that for a reason so that you can be safe. And of course, the pizza there at Chuck E. Cheese's is pretty iconic too. It may not be as tasty, but it's still pretty iconic. And of course, Chuck E. himself is iconic after, like, Chuck E. Cheese's opened back in 1970, 1970 or 79, I think, which was years ago. And Chuck E. Cheese's has been around all these years, and it would just be so sad for the store to be closing. Same with Toys R Us. Toys R Us has been open for so many years, but they got bankrupt and they went out of business. I just really hope this doesn't happen the same with Chuck E. Cheese's too. So thanks a lot to the thanks a lot to everyone's favorite pandemic, the coronavirus. Thanks a lot to the coronavirus. They lots of stores have gone bankrupt because nobody's coming to them because of their closure, or just because of the lines and nobody really wants to be at the store because they just want to be home safe. I don't really blame them because I haven't really gone outside in like a few weeks right now because I've just been cooped up in my house, not wanting to go outside. I just stay home, do my homework, edit videos, make videos for my YouTube channel, and just, I just, so much bad stuff has been going on, and I just really want the pandemic to end already. But we're kind of getting off topic here, so let's just keep talking about Chuck E. Cheese's. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been to Chuck E. Cheese's at least one time in your life. I've been there thousands of times because I love Chuck E. Cheese's. I go there for the games and the pizza and maybe sometimes to dance along with the mascot. Yeah. But that's not the point. I'm just so sad because is this really the end of my most favorite mouse of all time? Uh oh, sorry, sorry Mickey, not you. Oh, don't worry Mickey, I still love you. But I'm, I'm of course talking about Chuck E. Cheese. Cause he's pretty, he's so iconic at this point. Like, it, Chuck E. Cheese is, the, is pretty much the go-to place for birthdays because lots of kids have their birthday parties there. And I did, did, I did my birthday party there at least like four times already when I was little or some. But yeah, you guys understand my love for Chuck E. Cheese's. And I would just be so sad. My heart would just be broken if the store just went out, well, just got bankrupt and just closed. It already broke my heart when Toys R Us went out of business. So if my sec, if my other favorite place, fun place, closes forever, my heart will be even broken even more. Like my heart's already shattered to pieces because Toys R Us went out of business. But if Chuck E. Cheese went out of business, what's the point? And I've just had so many memories over there, like we took so many photos with the mascot, me playing the games, and just, we just had so much, I just had so much fun there. Like I went there with, with my friends when it was summer, and we just hang out there and stuff, but, I don't know. But just recently, everyone's just been talking about how Chuck E. Cheese's might have the possibilities of having a closure and just closing. Because they got bankrupt and just no one has been going there because of course the store closed because of the pandemic. But yeah, you guys understand. And it could be the possible end of this iconic fun house. Like, oh, dang it, my camera. Like just recently, everyone's been making a lot of articles of how the store might close. And lots of them stood out to me. So I just had to make this video as soon as possible because I just... Because of how, like, bad I'd just be... So, I... I I'm stuttering so much because I'm just upset that my favorite store of a place to live, and yeah, their, their slogan was "Where a kid can be a kid," and now we possibly can't be kids anymore. We can't be kids. Kids can't be kids anymore if the if the Chuck E. Cheese's store closed. So if the store closes, kids won't be kids. And there were a few articles that stood out to me, like this one that says. Chuck E. Cheese, the restaurant chain and popular children's party venue, is in talks with its le lenders to raise money to avoid filling for bankruptcy, according to people familiar with the matter. 
And it's just talking about how they just need to raise money just so they can avoid getting bankrupt. And there was this, another one that says, Soon after the pandemic shut, most restaurants, Chuck E. Cheese parent CEC Entertainment Inc. in April announced that the company was exploring options including refinancing, restructuring out of court, or bankruptcy. So, there's chances of it already going bankruptcy right now. So, it might go out of business. And it's just really upsetting that like, like in Chuck E. Cheese, as many people work there, and if people don't work there, they like, yeah, you know, of course, there's like many people there and that work there, and if they don't work there because of the stores closing because of the pandemic, they won't be able to get any money and have, have being a, afford to be able to keep the store open. Same with YouTubers when they get when their content gets age restricted and they lose their ads, they can't like put ads on their videos because the videos aren't like like for for all ages. Like I do YouTube for fun. I just don't really do like lots of adult humor stuff. This channel is just for all ages. It's for fun, comedy purposes, and just you know, and that's how it kind of is. Like when people get. It, when their content gets age restricted on YouTube, they won't be able to make any money because, like, if you guys didn't know, YouTubers actually get paid if they put commercials or ads on their videos. So if they if there are no ads or commercials on the video, they won't be able to make any money. Same with Chuck E. Cheese's if they don't work there or just get have people go to the stores, they won't be able to get enough money to like help their families or you know like keep the store open, and that's pretty difficult and just heartbreaking. So yeah, what I'm trying to say here is that I really think people should actually help Chuck E. Cheese's so they cannot close because I know some of you guys probably don't like Chuck E. Cheese's. I do, but there's uh, no, I really love Chuck E. Cheese's, but there are also some other kids out there that really love Chuck E. Cheese's as well. And if the store closes, they'll be sad and they won't be able to have, play games anymore. Although I kind of understand because nowadays kids don't, arcades aren't really that much, you know, uh, as good as they were before. Like... Don't get me wrong, I love arcades like Chuck E. Cheese's, Dave & Buster's, and the arcades at Coney Island over there, but not not a lot of kids these days really go to arcades because they usually just stay home, play free games on, on their phones and stuff, and just play games on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, yeah, that's pretty much how it is, but still, even if that's the case, I still want Chuck E. Cheese's to be open because they have so many fun games there, like the ski ball game. The tubes, like, even though the tubes smell like, smell like crap, and yeah, you know. So yeah, I just really hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. I just want Chuck E. Cheese's to stay open. I don't want it, I don't really don't want it to close. I want it to stay open forever. I don't want it to be like, you know, Toys R Us when they went out of business because they got bankrupt because a lot of people went on Amazon. But there is a Toys R Us in New Jersey that's open. I haven't went there yet, but... Hopefully if that pandemic ends, which is pretty slim, I'll, I'll get a chance to go over there. But hopefully after the whole coronavirus somehow pandemic and like the pandemic somehow ends, I just, maybe Chuck E. Cheese's won't go bankrupt anymore because I'm pretty sure kids will still want to go there and just have fun and stuff. And yeah, I really don't want Chuck E. Cheese's to close. So what's basically being said here and on, on the internet is that the lovable mascot mouse of pizza in the arcade might not be no more. No official decisions have been made of how of how they should like close the store or not, but still they could like happen to close the store eventually if this pandemic lasts more and they won't get any more money. So we can very well be on the path of if the, all the arcades might be closing or just the doors might close and just won't be anymore. After so many years of excess, how is Chucky even in trouble now? For one, of course, the whole pandemic thing around the earth and stuff. I loved this guy forever and to see him gone forever might be the saddest thing ever. And I'm pretty sure all you guys are Chuck E. Cheese fans too. And if Chuck E. Cheese's closes... I really hope they don't give this guy his own play store. I mean, I'm pretty sure they already did, but no offense to you Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there, but possible chances of them having their own store exactly like this since the game is popular and so many people play it, it might take advantage of the whole Chuck E. Cheese thing. And this could sadly become a reality thing. Alright guys, well that's all I wanted to say, so let me know what you guys think about this whole situation of Chuck E. Cheese's bankrupt and just all this situation going on. 
I just really hope they don't close. If there's any way that Chuck E. Cheese's can just remain open, I'd be thrilled. If there's, like, anything we can do, I'd be thrilled as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. But don't let Chuck E. Cheese's go out of business. Never. Okay, bye.